Welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am having a look at a plugin for Krita that enables the use of AI models for image to image generation. What on earth does that do? Well, basically, you can use Krita, which is like a, a sort of paint program, to draw really bad images uh, and then make them into really cool ones. Yeah? All right. So let's have a look at this. My environment, of course, I am using Ubuntu 2004. Feel free to use Microsoft Windows if you want, but Ubuntu 2004 is free, so you don't have to pay for it at all. Uh, if you're using Windows, your performance and any commands I used here may, of course, be slightly different. Um, you will need an NVIDIA GPU as well and uh, the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit if you're following these instructions. If you want to have those installed, it's very easy. You just go to the website, you select Windows, x86, I'm using Ubuntu, I'm using 2004, I want the dev local, and there you go. You just copy paste those commands one at a time in order and uh, th that'll install everything for you. Yeah, alrighty. Okay, so uh, Anaconda as well, exactly the same deal. You go to the website, the website opens, and you click on the download button, you'll download a file, then you run the store, and, and you've got Anaconda, yeah? All right, okay. Pretty much the same sort of thing with Krita, but you just go to your applications, software, and you want to install Krita, K-R-I-T-A, then that, that will appear in your little list there. And then you click on install, and after a few seconds, Krita will install, All right? So you've got the basics there, you've got your operating system, you've got your GPU, you've got your Python environment manager, and you've got Krita. All right, so let's just open up Krita because what we're going to need to know here is where our resource directory is. All right, so we open up Krita, we go to settings, we go to configure Krita, and then in general, resources, that's your resource folder right there. So I'm going to press Control C, copy that, close down Krita, I've got my resource directory. Excellent. So now I need to download Koi, that's what this is called, the Krita plugin. So you can git clone, and there's the URL, you can just copy paste to that. Yeah? Okay. All right. So I, I've got all my stuff in uh, in GitHub. I, I create a directory called GitHub, but, you know, that's that's just me. So uh, if I go to uh, tilde GitHub, you can, of course, download your stuff to whatever directory you want. And Koi. All right. So now you need to copy the Koi directory and the Koi.desktop. Yeah? So cp minus r, you know, copy everything in the Koi directory over to that path I just copied, but you also want to add Pi Krita on the end of it, yeah? All right, so copy that over, and of course, copy over the Koi desktop file as well. All right, okay, so basically now you've installed the plugin. That's the plugin installed. So now you're gonna to need to enable that plugin. So once again, we open Krita. There's gonna be a lot of opening and closing of Krita. <laughs> But never mind, but never mind. So now you go to settings, configure Krita again, scroll down to the bottom here, and you've got a Python plugin manager. Scroll down to the bottom once again, and you should see Koi. Now yours won't have a little tick next to it, it'll be like that, so you just tick that, and that'll enable it. You're okay, we'll close that for now, and then the next time you open Krita, it will actually have that plugin enabled. Feel free to open it now and make sure that the Koi panel appears down in the bottom right. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So next we've got our Conda environment. So this is where we do all the Python stuff. We do all the Python stuff. I've uh, I've got my base one there. Of, of course, I've already created my Conda environment, so I'm just going to activate it. But if you haven't got one already, you, you may already have a diffusers environment, uh, but this, this will just create it from scratch. So Conda create minus minus name diffusers because I'm good at creating names and I'm using Python 3.9 and then Conda Activate Diffusers, like I've just done there. All right, so next you want to go into your, wherever you download all your stuff to. I, of course, download all my stuff to GitHub. Then you do your Git clone. Yeah, so you want to Git clone the diffusers. There you go, you got the diffusers. Now remember, all these instructions are in here. So, you know, I'm, I'm basically just doing this. I've just formatted it ever so slightly different. So there it is, from this row, you can Git clone diffusers yeah and cd into the diffusers directory okay so we cd into the diffusers directory right okay now we've got a couple of things that we need to install here first uh first of all we want to install pytorch so i'm going to install pytorch there we go now if you're not sure how to install pytorch then you just go to the pytorch website links down in the description pytorch get started locally i'm using the very latest one linux pip python 11.6 there's the command yeah so i just copy pasta that installed excellent now I want to install diffusers as well so i just do pip install minus e dot that'll install everything in that directory that's diffusers 
Excellent. Right. So we've got we've got step one done. Step one has been done, and has, and has step zero. So we've installed PyTorch, we've installed Diffusers. So next we want to go to Koi. So I'll go back to my Koi directory, and we run exactly the same thing again. Pip install minus e dot. All right. So I'll just pop that in. There you go. So now I've installed PyTorch, I've installed Diffusers, and I've just installed Koi. All right. So you've got pretty much everything that you need installed. Apart from, you now need to download the weights. Now, by default, this uses the uh, Hugging Face CLI login because you have a look in here and the server.py. I know it's a little bit nerdy, but yeah, there. Okay, so there, that uses the auth token by default. If you don't want to use the auth token, then over on the Hugging Face website, it does tell you an alternative way to download those weights. You can just get LFS install and then git clone those. And then you have to change it from using the auth token to you just pass in the path instead this will download it for you or you can download it manually and then pass it the path so you've got the two options but this one uses the hugging face cli uses the auth token so you will need to go over link link that make your hugging face and thing and accept the terms of conditions and, and all that sort of stuff and then you run your hugging face cli login yeah okay you run your hugging face cli login and then you'll need your token does give you a little link there so you just open your link there's your token copy that paste it in there and then then you're all logged in yeah all right so that's got your token saved if you never want to do that again yeah then you can do that git config and store it i'll just do that i've already done it but it doesn't make any difference there you go all right so that's that's also stored your credentials for later so next time you try and download the model it, it'll just download it for you yeah. All right. OK, so you've got everything installed. You've now downloaded the uh, the diffusers version of Stable Diffusion. You've got the, the 1.4 model. Y you can start the server now. You can start the server. OK, so let's start that server. There it is. Python server.py loading model. Now, first time you run that, it will, of course, download the model. May take a few seconds. I've already downloaded it, so it won't take very long at all and uh, eventually it will give you a little URL. So there it is, running on HTTP 127.0.0.1.8888. Now, it does do that by default, but, you know, you, you, it does say in the instructions to check it, so hey. All right, let's start Krita. We'll have a look at Krita. There we go, down in the bottom right. So there's your endpoint. Yeah, that's the same as down here. So it's got HTTP 127.0.1.8.8.8. It's fine. It's fine. We don't need to change that. It should look something like that, and it does. So brilliant. All right, so... Now we are on inference, yeah? All right, so <laughs> you wanna create a new canvas that's 512 by 512, make a single layer sketch. Note those are temporary restrictions, okay. A new, it's 512 by 512, create, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna remove that layer, I've got a single layer sketch now. All right, okay. And uh, and that's it, you're, re you're ready to start drawing and, and dreaming and all that sort of stuff, so what? What are we going to create? What are we going to create? All right. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What What should I create? Hmm. Let's make that brush a little bit smaller. Tell you know what? Let, let's make some sort of... Uh, let's just unlock the, uh, the layer. Let's make some sort of bizarre rodent, shall we? Let's, uh, let's make sure it's drawn really, really badly because that's basically only the level of skill that I've got yeah yeah okay so we'll do the head there let's have some little black eyes and really really herky and we'll have some little pink ears yeah that's that sort of ear color isn't it there we go there we go and uh, we'll just fill this body in a little bit Build tool there. All right. We'll have a little little patch on his belly for reasons. Put that back to the brush. Go. There we go. Doesn't that look perfect? Doesn't that look perfect? So we'll just change this a little bit from the mountains, and we'll have a cute pet. Oops. Pet rodent. All on canvas. Steps 32. Let's just put that up a little bit. Seed. Let's have a put whatever seed you fancy in there. Now you've got your image strength. So that's how much is it going to change this image? 0.75 is the default. That's 
generally speaking fine. Uh, if you go up to one, then that will change the image completely. If you go down below 0.5, then very not very much will change at all. Prompt strength, I like to turn up a little bit. So, um, all right, should we do it? Let's, let's let's put this up a little bit as well. Let's change that image strength slightly. And dream, I'm dreaming. What will it create? Will it create some sort of rodent? You can see it doing its iterations down at the bottom here. And there it is. Excellent. So now I have become a completely skilled artist and uh, I can draw rodents um, j just by opening Krita and uh, drawing really badly. So there you go. Let your creativity enhance the world and it is rodent out for now.